Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss about what is the purpose of comments, how can we use the comments in a Python and also I will discuss doc string comments which is documentation strings in Python. So I will discuss all these things in detail for you. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First let me discuss what is the purpose of comments then how many different types of comments are there. Now in programming a comment is a programmer readable explanation or annotation in the source code. Okay now let's take that you have written a program in that program you have written a logic. Now later if someone either your uh, manager or team leader want to know what is the purpose of this logic. If you write some comments then he will understand okay this is the purpose of this logic why he used these variables or why he used these loops all these things if you write an explanation that will be very helpful. So how can you write such explanation is with the help of the comments. Remember one thing comments are the statements that are not executed by the python interpreter even in the C program the comments the C compiler will never execute them. Is it clear? Now you know that we have two types of comments. One is the single line comments and we will have multiple line comments. Now single line comments is what? In a single line you are writing an explanation. Now coming to the single line comments in C programming long ways usually we will represent like two slashes and then we will write whatever the comment we want to write. This is in C programming long ways or let's take that representing single line comment in C. Okay, is it clear? Are you able to understand? This is the way we will represent the single line comment in C programming long ways. Then how we will represent multiple line comments in C programming long ways? We will represent like this. Okay, we will oops, we'll write a slash and then star. We will write the comments and then we will end with this one. Now you will ask one thing, sir are you teaching C long ways or Python? Just I am giving the, because lot of people know the C programming long ways. So for them just I am giving the reference here. But now let's take the Python. In Python, whether it is a single line comment or a multiple line comment, we will represent using the hash symbol. Okay. Okay. We will use a hash and then we will write the comment. Single line comment in Python. Okay. This is the way we will represent the single line comment. Then you can ask me sir how I can represent the multiple line comments because in C programming long ways you have represented two notations for the single line and multiple line. So in Python for single line this is fine. How can I represent the multi line comments? For multi line comments you will use multiple hash. Multiple lines are what? See this is a one line. This is another line. This is another line. So suppose let's take that you want to write a comment like okay please like okay then you want to write another thing like please share okay and then please subscribe pernika tutorials is it clear are you able to understand it or not so this is a multi line so multiple lines are nothing but it is a multiple single lines. So in Python there is no different notation for the multiple line comments. So it is treats as a multiple single line comment. So you have to treat each comment as a one line comment. So you should write hash in before the comment. So this whenever you write a comment with before there is a hash the interpreter will never execute that one. In the program it will be there but the interpreter whenever it is converting the high level code to the byte code it will ignore it. Is it clear? So this is the purpose of single line comments and multiple line comments and this is the way we will use them. Okay. Now let me discuss about python documentation strings. 
okay this is the one of the future provided by the python okay we'll call them as doc string comments which is nothing but documentation string comments doc string comments even this also works as a similar to the comments but where you are using those comments okay now suppose let's take that first let me tell you how we can represent the doc string comments using triple single line comments you can string three single quotes starting with three or triple single quotes write something whatever you want to write and end with three single quotes okay so this is the way you can write something inside the python program or even you can use triple double quotes write whatever you want to write those comments and then end with the triple double quotes this is a single quote three single quotes you have to start here three double quotes you have to start now what is the difference between the comments and the doc string i will discuss they it works in a similar way but where you are using them is it clear suppose let's take that at the starting of the program it is similar to like a documentation okay that's why it is called as python documentation suppose let's take that you have written something before the program okay before the python program you have written like this okay jagdish sir is a good teacher i'm self promoting okay jagdish sir is a good teacher he works very hard very hard to teach for the students always self promotion is very much required if others are not promoting us we should promote ourselves okay so if this is the documentation i should write before the program then i can write like this then i will write small program let's see if i write a is equal to 6 b is equal to 7 c is equal to a plus b if i write print c okay and if i execute the program then it will come as jagdish sir is a good teacher he works very hard to teach for the students like this it will come as a documentation like in a top you will get a heading na like that it will come and then it will give the output as 13 for you is it clear this is the way it will work suppose let's take that without writing any code if you write only documentation section okay then what will happen if you execute the program then you will get the output as now look at this one i have written the triple double quotes and in the new line i have written the jagdish so for a new line we will have backslash n so it will get backslash n then jagdish sir is a then you will get again you came to the new line so again you will get a backslash n good teacher he works that will come in the same line again backslash n very hard to teach for the again we came to the new line so again backslash n come so wherever the new line came it will print as a backslash n and it will print the string and again backslash n like that it will display the output is it clear so all these things i will show you in the python id so that it will be very clear for you now we'll go for the python id and we will verify how it is working now we'll see the practical thing first let me discuss about the single line comment i discussed that if you want to use the single line comment you have to use hash and write the comment let me zoom this one little bit so that it will be visible for everyone suppose let's take that i want to use the comment as single line comment I write single line comment, and if I say a is equal to some five, b is equal to six, and if I say c is equal to a plus b, 
and if I write print C then I will get the value of C but I will not get the single line comment in the output if you want to see let me run that one see you got the output as 11 but the comment the interpreter has ignored it while converting the high level language to the byte code now let me discuss how can we use the multiple line comments already i said if you want to use the multiple line comments it will treat it as a multiple single line comments so i will say that comment one okay in a one line and then i will say that comment two then i will say comment three then i will say that print pernika tutorials or i will simply say pernika okay and we will see the output if you run this program you can see only pernika came the comment one comment two comment three when the from the high level language it is converted to the byte code it was ignored by the interpreter now we will discuss about the doc strings i already discussed about the document one okay now let me see how it will be executed so already i told you that we need to use three single quotes or three double quotes so i am using the triple double quotes and i will write something Pernika Tutorials is the best YouTube channel is the I will write in the next line best YouTube channel for CSC students I will write in the CSC students I have to close with the three double quotes okay i'm not writing any program or anything i'm just writing this one if you do it let's see what will happen now you can see that we got pernika tutorials is the backslash n best youtube channel backslash n csc students why because pernika tutorials is the you got then backslash and because you are going to the new line this best youtube channel for then we have entered the new line so backslash n is coming then csc students it is like this it is coming now if i change the code little bit suppose if i say here d is equal to six and if i say print d then we'll see what will happen i will use capital letters because small d and capital d will be considered as a two different variables now let me run this code now you got the output six the pernika tutorials is the best youtube channel for csc it has been ignored by the interpreter so i hope it is clear for you okay you can practice these kind of things and you can verify i hope you have understood how the single line and multiple line comments works in python and also the purpose of doc strings with the theory and the practical things. If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.